everybody, this is Leia and I'm back to give you your weekly reading by astrological sign. Do you watch the videos for your sun, moon, rising, and any other sign that is particularly prominent in your birth chart as you are so much more than your sun sign? This week, I felt called to use the Ludi Lescott Tarot to deliver the first part of your message. Now, since this deck is great at unearthing shadow messages, expect to be doing some shadow work this week, or whenever you find yourself watching this video, since what you encounter here is not intended to be a forecast for the week ahead, regardless of the dates on the video. It's meant, instead, to be meaningful no matter when you stumble upon it. For the second part, you get to pick an insightful piece of food for thought from one of two decks. We are using Doreen Virtue's Angel Therapy Oracle cards and the Healing Cards deck by Carolyn Mace. Before we even proceed, choose right now which deck you're feeling guided to. A card from that deck will be your closing message. As always, the cards have been shuffled and selected at random prior to filming with the intention that the most helpful, relevant, and meaningful ones for us are what come up in our reading. So go ahead and choose right now which deck you want for your closing message. Doreen Virtue's Angel Therapy Oracle, this one right here, or Carolyn Mace's Healing Cards, this deck right here. And now, let's see what messages Spirit has in store for us. Welcome Leo suns, moons, risings, and everyone else with strong Leo energy in their birth charts. Your cards for the first part of your reading are Knight of Wands, Nine of Cups, and Nine of Wands. The presence of two Wands cards here is very interesting to me, as there were also two Wands cards in my July 2014 reading for Leo. Then, as now, this shows us that there is a lot of active and inspiring energy available to you right now to make changes in your life with, and the knight extra confirms it. Two nines tell us as well that you are coming to the end of a cycle in your life. You may have to be on guard with it though, as in the nine of wands, as it involves something very dear to you, as the nine of cups, being the card of a wish coming true, quite possibly indicates. After all, you want to share what really matters to you with only those who support you, rather than those who might do the opposite with your dreams. If you chose the Angel Therapy deck, you get Release. Work with Archangel Michael to let go of what no longer serves you or your purpose. And this absolutely goes hand in hand with the first part of your message. Moving forward, it won't do you any good to carry leftovers from your past with you. So as you move on to bigger, better, and different, let go now of what isn't for your highest good. Even if it served you in the past, if it no longer does, leave it behind. It is also in its highest good to be set free, so it can be where it rightfully belongs. And if you chose the Healing Cards deck you got, Recovery isn't a goal, but a process. And on the back of the card it says, You never stop repairing and renewing yourself. You must absorb the light and shadow of each day you live. Don't keep your spirit stuck in yesterday as a new day begins. Prayer is process. Moving forward is a process. It involves change, so count on leaving a lot behind in order to accommodate the new. It's just part of the experience. And so is acknowledging that there are parts of the journey that you won't like. This doesn't mean you love yourself any less for feeling negatively, but that you acknowledge all these parts of you. If you look at the big picture, you'll see that there are blessings for you every step of the way. Doing so will put you on the trail to moving forward. By always living in the now. Thank you so much for watching. I've already uploaded the monthly July 2014 videos, so 
please take a look at those that relate to you if you haven't yet. And make sure to subscribe so you always see the future uploads the moment they're ready. I'll see you again very soon. Take care of yourself. Bye for now and namaste. Thank you.